Hello guys, Ingemar here. Uh, I was just out on a little off-road session with Loki and when I came back I saw that Ineos just released a video about the Hard Way Home, the final movie. Uh, I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about it a little bit. There were questions out there why I got one of the first or the first Grenadier in the world, why I was so lucky. So well, yeah, the Hard Way Home was the reason. Uh, I was one of three winners and that's why I got hands on Loki in that early stage. I also want to take the opportunity to thank everybody involved, everybody at the NEOS, the marketing team, the engineers there. Everybody was down in Morocco with us on this incredible adventure. I loved it. Uh, a big thank goes out to the media company that produced it. Uh, those guys were awesome, Kingdom Media. And of course, the pro drivers, especially Cameron, who was my support. Um, thank you very much for well, helping me out during those few days down in Morocco. It was amazing. And of course, thank you to my support and co-driver, Jürgen, who was with me on this uh, big trip. And uh, one more thing, uh, before we started this whole event, of course I knew uh, we'll be on camera, there will be a movie, so we had to look awesome. That's why I reached out to a couple of partners and they provided the equipment we had, all the clothes, uh, the boots, uh, bottles, uh, backpacks, all that kind of stuff, knives. So everything is from those guys. Thank you very much. And I edit the whole video, the whole Hard Way Home movie uh, right now, following on this video. And in the next few days, weeks and so on, we are going to pick up a few of the topics, a little bit of behind the scenes footage and a little small story on Instagram as well over the next weeks. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Next video is again about Loki specs, uh, capabilities and so on. Thanks, have fun. I ordered my Grenadier within the first few hours when the order opened up. It's awesome to be here and be part of this adventure. I'm looking forward to some incredible sights that really touch the soul. Super excited for the hard way home. I just can't wait to get behind the wheel and get going really. Yay! Welcome to the Grenadier showroom. brought you down to a very remote location in the Anti-Atlas Mountains for a very different type of handover. It's going to be up to you from this location to drive all the way back home. You're going to be accompanied by us, the off-road instructors. Within the car you're also going to have your close friends and family. So, unless there's any questions, it's time to get cracking. <laughs> This is very much about the journey, not the destination. This is going to be the challenging part. The first section, 30k of off-road. Then we're going to drive south, 25k to a very small market town called Tazignat. We've had a lot of rain, so likely to expect elements here that are quite challenging. few days, many hours in the car. What a way to hand over them. It still feels a bit surreal. You don't go and pick your car up here, do you? No, you don't. Uh... 
I'm sure the wadis will be quite full, especially with this much rain now. Yeah. Two days ago, this was bright sunny, really unusual circumstances. It's about to drop there. There it is, yeah. Oh, see you all right? Kevin to Prodrivers. Yeah, this is Mark. Go ahead. I've uh, got some news about the route ahead now, and you're going to want to hear it. OK, then I'll read you the convoy ahead then to come to a stop. Um, so there's a road closed because of snow. OK. And we cannot get to the camp. The police have closed the road. Luckily, we brought our sleeping bags. Yeah, this is definitely Warren Seal descent control, so... And then if you come off the brakes, off the accelerator... I'm not doing anything other than steering. I haven't seen a single human being in the last no. couple of hours. It's just so pretty and untouched. Yeah, it is. You know, just start driving with your new grenadier. Yeah. It's such an environment that yeah, it is. we're blessed, actually. Yeah. A new day, a new adventure. Exactly, yeah. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Looks like a jungle in there. Close up for a view. Wow. That's incredible. It's such a different Morocco to what we've seen before. Oh my God. This is what you call a choked track. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to slow down. This road is amazing. I really love it. Knowing the marvelous world look at the road. You look down there. <laughs> it's magical. Yeah, stunning. Yeah, beautiful, huh? Wow. Just incredible. Just watch for the rocks. <laughs> and Sarah, you got a flat tire on the back left. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you saw the rain that we were having this morning, that's turned to snow on the top. Snowing so much more now. This is ridiculous. Hey guys, that looks like another police checkpoint ahead. It's probably another road close. They're heading back to the car park that we're at and we'll make another plan there. Over. Roger. It's really coming down heavy. Uh, we're going to have to turn back. The police have closed this road as well. The only other option we have is up the iron chain. I'm going to try and plot a route. Yeah, I wonder how many more we got though to get there. No sighs of relief. None, nada, none of them. We're going to have to go around. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're all in the happy little convoy. Oh my god, look at the snow. That's insane! We don't have a we don't have any other options. We're on plan D, so Plan D of the hard way home. Yeah. It's snowing and it is snowing and snowing. Bringing the grenadier to what you think is a sunny Morocco. It ends up snowing, flooding out. Sun's coming through. Okay, Ingemar, it's looking like the train is changing ahead of us. 
We're approaching a river that's come up over the night with the rain that we've had over the last two days. So what we're going to look for is a suitable crossing. This might get a bit hairy. Obviously low range, and we'll look at having our centre diff lock in. And go. Straight on the nose across there. <laughs> of course, swimming. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> I just like the road presence through the uh, small town. Pretty cool, right? Everybody loves the minute here. The car itself just draws quite a lot of attention anyway, doesn't it? People are really seeming to be drawn to it. People can see you coming, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. makes driving much easier. Are so capable off road, you'd expect it to be a bit compromised when you get back onto tarmac, yeah. but really balanced and that you feel really well in control. Oh. Caution, caution, new road. <laughs> caution, amazing road, yeah. Look at this. Thinking uh, back to the start three days ago. Well, I really, really loved the Grenadier showroom up there. Seeing them for the first time, uh, I, I couldn't stop smiling. Great location. It was really the perfect handover. 